Hey what's up, welcome back to Learning Redstone. Changed the name uh, from Redstone 101 that I used last time. I didn't like it, so I thought Learning Redstone would be a little bit more appropriate for what we're doing here. So, this is the um, second one. I'm going to be showing you uh, Redstone, uh, wiring, torches and repeaters. So, let's start off with the basic here. Uh, yep, A uh, switch sticks to piston activates it. Uh, pist uh, wire next to a piston activates it. Uh, redstone can, uh, power can actually travel through a block, as you see we have here. We do not have two bits of redstone, we have a block. So what happens is the current goes into this and makes this block here an active block. So we hit this, it still turns on exactly how it normally would. I'll show you the concept here. You have... Uh, this single block in the middle here, powering all these ones around here, including underneath, uh, if you have a certain design, underneath here you would have a powered block as well, where the redstone torches. So if we turn this off, you can see all those turn off, but that could uh, be from the redstone torch if you break the one in the middle. You can see, exact same thing happens, but uh, it's not from the torch, it's the block that's powering with them because that block has power in it. So. Now repeaters, a repeater can go through a block as well, and you can even set the delay to a point four tick. Exactly the same here, it can power can go through a repeater into a block and then through to a piece of redstone, even though the redstone isn't registering uh, being attached to anything, it still activates it, so right there. Uh, a repeater can go directly into the um, thing you want to power, so like that. But uh, some things that don't work with the power block, the power block can only go up to a maximum of one. As you can see here, if we try to extend this to the corners, the corners don't work either. They, they don't power at all. So this doesn't work uh, with more than one, so nothing. But uh, you can do something a little bit like this. You can make a massive delay without using any redstone wire itself. You just place a repeater every other block. Okay, so here I wanted to demonstrate uh, what uh, in the old days, quote marks, uh, we had to use for repeaters. So now we have these spanking new ones here that we can set a delay whenever we want. But uh, these are, this is an old school repeater. It's used two blocks, torch, redstone and another torch. And when you flick this, it uh, turns on the current. And exactly the same here, these reach a 15 block gap. So you had to waste uh, precious four blocks to continue your redstone magic. So that's what you had to use before. And I'll show you a little demonstration here with the sand cannon. So make a day. Jump over here. And let's try this out. So we have our TNT igniting there. And... Kaboom! I thought that might be a little bit, a little bit of fun to do instead of putting some stupid piston at the end. Um, okay, so now uh, redstone can only travel uh, directly up if you are using uh, glowstone. So you see here we have glowstone blocks going uh, up like a diagonal snake, and up here to power this piston. And I just want to show you that it works. So. And uh, advantages of this is really awesome that there is no delay whatsoever so with a torch like these um, each one of these has a one tick on it but all of those blocks put together so that's three 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 so three times four you can take away all those blocks into just one block and set your delay like that so all of those repeaters equal up to a delay of four ticks so this is instant, this requires no redstone torches, so it's instant, but it can only go up to a maximum of 15 blocks. But I'll show you that again how fast that goes. No delay whatsoever. Here, you can try it without the uh, glowstone just directly going up. Nothing, doesn't even continue for past the first block. But if you use torches, that works because, of course, as I showed you before, this is an active block, which powers that one. Active block powers that one. So we show you this. And you can see that that had the delay on it because 
each one of these is a one tick delay so you have quite a large delay on that to travel up so I'd recommend using the glowstone design so that's what I have today for learning redstone if you want to submit something for the next episode uh, leave it down in the comments and I'll give you a shout out put the uh, channel link in the description if I use your idea subscribe to if you haven't already so you don't miss an episode like the video down below if you want more and you, this was helpful for you post your comments uh, you can discuss what was going on in this video if you found something wasn't as easy as you thought you can tell me and I'll hopefully fix you with that so um, apart from that see you guys next time and goodbye